Hi, I'm Brother Prater. Welcome to my page. I hope you're enjoying your day. I want to give you some food for thought. The other day I was at Walmart and a baby started walking towards me with her arms out saying, Dad, 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 Dad. Now, I was in a crowd of people, but that baby looked at me, reached her arms out towards me saying, Dad, 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 Dad. So when she got close enough, I picked her up, held her in my arms, and petted her and she fell asleep. Now everybody started laughing because it was obvious I was not her dad dad. But her mom said she just started speaking her first words of dad dad. And the beautiful thing was when she fell asleep, she looked peacefully. But the key thing was I couldn't react or shun her because she was calling me dad dad. I couldn't deny her because she was calling me dad dad. But I had to receive her because there was a greater need. Her greater need was to be held, to be loved, to be petted. And when she received that, she received rest. And that's the same way we must look at people who may lie on us or who may act unbecoming. There's a greater need. We can't be fixated on what a person says or how a person acts. We have to stay focused on the greater need. And when their need is met, then that's when they receive rest. So as you encounter those people who may be rude, who may lie, who may start rumors, those are just dad dad words. Those are just words that we have to overlook and see that there is a greater need. Understand they may still be infants. They may still have an infant mentality. Not only in the natural, but sometimes in the spiritual. Even those Christian babes, they may still act as an infant. But just like when a baby dirties a diaper, what do we do? We clean the baby and throw the diaper away. We cannot Throw away the baby and keep the diaper. Let's start paying attention to the greater need of those who may not act accordingly. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you right now, God. Thank you, Lord, for your awesomeness, God. God, we ask you, Lord, to help us, God, to deal with those, God, who may be rude, who may be cruel, God. Help us, God, to not be fixated on what a person says, God, but help us to stay focused on the greater need, God. God, they may need love, God, but more importantly, God, they may need you, God. And God, help us, God, as a mature adults, God, to introduce them to you, God, not just with our words, but God, even with our actions, God. Help us, God, to be on our assignment, God. Help us, God, to not lose focus, God, when people act unbecoming, God. God, help us, God, to stay focused, God. Help us, God, to stay on our assignment, God. Help us, God, to still be in our Father's business, God. Help us, God. And we can't do it alone, God. We need your strength, God. We need your power, God. We need your authority, God. Help us, God, and say we bind everything you stand for. We bind every problem, bind every confusion right now. In the name of Jesus, we cancel that assignment that you have over that rude person right now. In the name of Jesus, God, they might be hiding, God, hurt, God. They might be hiding unforgiveness, God. They might be hurting years, God, of wounds, God, that they have held on and they don't know how to release it, God. But help us, God, to help them, God to do whatever it needs to take, God, to seek help, to seek rest, God. And God, we give everything to you, God. And we thank you, Lord, for the success and the testimony that's coming from this, God. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen, amen, amen. I thank you for watching this video. I pray that it ministers to you. Be blessed.